ゼミファイナル8人タッグマッチ60分一本勝負を行いますtake on such a legendary quartet. Let's see what kind of game plan they have in store. Kiyomiya and Inamura have been teaming up recently. They'll challenge for the tag titles in Nagoya on the 19th against Sagira Gun. That's a strong, encouraging tag team. And today they're backed up by Taniguchi and Daiki Inaba. We love Taniguchi and Funaki to kick things off. Funaki always in fantastic shape, always looking fresh, always looking sharp. The hybrid wrestler, Sprightly 51 these days. Superb condition. Taniguchi 44 years of age compared to Funaki's 51. But she was unlucky in the 2020 N1 victory tournament this year. But he is a five-time GHC Tag Team Championship holder with Kenta, Takeshi Morishima, Go Shiozaki, Naomichi Marufuji, and Yuji Hino. Taniguchi is someone that Yone knows very well. They were Tag Team Champions together. Taniguchi very well. 
、そうですね、あの谷口も、ね、レスリングで日本一3回になってますから、船木さんの強さは、ね、もちろんですけど、谷口の強さも、ね、ここで光ればいいなと思いますね。Is very, very strong in the wrestling circuit here. Taniguchi is his equal in terms of strength. I believe Taniguchi was also in Hooligans with Mitsuya Nagai at one point. Funaki joined M's Alliance. On August 30, after becoming free from Wrestle One, gets the rope escape there. Yone, what's the key to wrestling Funaki? What's the key point? Key point is that, well, this, well, what do you call it? Aura is out, and well, this condition, well, 50 years old, well, this condition. このコンディションどう崩していくか自分もね戦うとしてはちょっと難しいですよね。そうヨネ says even though he's faced him before he really doesn't know how to approach someone with the skill and history of Funaki and the aura that he possesses. That's a question that Ems Alliance will have to find an answer to. That's right. And so far we see Taniguchi trying to break down that aura. But the powerful kicks from Funaki shining through here. <laughs> Taniguchi sending the UWF and Pancras legend to the mat. Here's the tag. In comes the supernova. What a clash of generations this is. 24 year old Fiumia against the 51 year old Funaki. Fiumia himself challenged Ken O to the GHC National Championship title, but he was unfortunate that day. Made his debut back in 2015, a product of the Noah Dojo. The youngest GHC heavyweight champion of all time at the age of 22. Very much the present and the future of pro wrestling Noah. There's the tag, and in comes Muto. One more legend from the Ems Alliance. Muto does hold a win over Kiyomiya from earlier this year. That will be on the mind of the 24 year old. You're going to sit back there with the armbar? No. Threatening the arm there on Muto, but switches to side control. Now looking for the back. Muto cranking on that foot. Cranking even more on that foot. Looking very painful there. Is Kiyomiya. Trying to get out of there, but still on that ankle. Twisting it the other way. Massive pressure here from the veteran. She's trying to smother Kiyomiya. Muto has a hold of Kiyomiya now. Put so pressure on that neck with a face lock also. Fighting back. It's Kiyomiya. Sends Muto into the ropes, but Muto using his sheer size. Jumping Huge. elbow, right to the heart of Muto. Big jumping elbow there from Kaito Kiyomiya. Like it's screwed, but it's blocked. Kiyomiya, Kiyomiya extending that arm, that left arm of Muto. Yeah, he's trying to get some extension on that, but not quite yet. Muto just too physically strong, I think, for him to finish that there. Muto is more than a match for that. Just retaining a degree of control of his left arm. Kiyomiya would want to pull it out of its socket. Muto managing to get up there. Sent back down. 
Good control from Kiyomiya. Still pulling on that arm, but his shoulder's not on the mat, so he's not getting a count. He gets the rope escape there. Who's coming in? Uto will continue this one. Yep, he's still, he's still in there. He looks for the safety of his teammate, Ems Alliance. Kiyomiya once more. Okay, okay, okay. Kiyomi goes back to the center of the ring. That youthful exuberance. And in comes his new teammate, Yoshiki Inamura. Kiyomiya has a lot of stamina, I think. So he only says that in his singles match against Muto, he really showed a lot of improvement from there. Drop kick from Miyamoto. Puts the powerhouse down. Big drop kick. We get a first look at Marufuji, the leader of the M's Alliance. Oh, Marufuji calling out. Calling out Inaba. He wants Inaba, he doesn't want Inamura. Inamura tags in. Inaba, Inaba only too happy to oblige. Huge kick from Marufuji, followed by another. The thuds we can feel. Ringside here. Inaba's not backing down. Not backing down at all. The newcomer to Noah looking to make a name for himself at Marafushi's expense. Striking that he's not going to finish off Marafushi too easily, but he is looking for a pin, trying to control. Naomichi Marafushi. Right, so Inaba replying to the call to come in from Marufuji. Says a lot. Big knee from Marufuji. Inaba could be out. He's definitely seeing stars. Oh, oh, okay. That looked particularly bad there. You know, by taking a huge knee. That's the corner he doesn't want to be in, you know, but. Marufuji oh. sends him into his own corner, and his M's Alliance team member, Funaki, steps in with some huge kicks. Inaba joined the Pro Wrestling Nora in July, following the closure of the Wrestle 1 promotion, where he held the tag team titles and he was a two time Wrestle 1 champion as a protege of Keiji Muto. This is not good for Daiki Inaba. Funaki punishing him. Funaki knows an infinite, infinite amount of ways how to inflict punishment, how to inflict pain. Certainly does, and when he has the back position here, there's not a lot Inaba can do. He has that sleeper. Inaba gets to the ropes. Just out of instinct, I think that was. Ten minutes into this eight man tag match. Inaba showing some life in him now with a bit of a comeback against Funaki, but those leg kicks from Funaki. Chopping down like an axe. Really heavy kick to the thigh. Muto in now, continuing the punishment. Inaba in a very bad place. The M's Alliance Masters going to work on him. STF from Muto. When Inaba started out, he was very much considered a protege of Muto. But today they're on the opposing side. Inamura shouting on encouragement to his teammate, threatening to step in, but the referee caught him. Right across the face, across the cheekbones, that is. 
Yeah. Edging his way to the ropes. Squeaky yeah. 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 Miyamoto <laughs> holding out the ropes. <laughs> the referee sends me about the back. <laughs> nice work. Good refereeing. Even the referees know how to defend themselves here in Forest Wrestling Noah. Why <laughs> Fuji not happy with the referee? Dragon screw. <laughs> An orthodox exit on that one. Now with the figure four yeah. leg lock. Going to work with a figure four leg lock on Daiki Inaba. Ah, uh, having none of it. In comes his teammate. Taniguchi, of course, lost out to Muto in Yokohama Budokan last month. He hasn't forgotten. Has Big shoulder tackle there for Minaba. Send Muto down. And in comes the supernova. Kaito Kiyomiya. Sending all the Hems Alliance members away from the ring. Picturesque drop kick from Kiyomiya. Marafuji comes in. Beautiful work from Kaito Kiyomiya. And the crowd Yekina! love it. He has the audience in the Yoyogi behind him now. Up onto the top ropes. Here I am. Muto. Textbook drop kick. That's not going to stop Muto though. It'll take more than that to put a legend like Muto away. Sunset flip. On the top. Muto rolls out. Oh. There it is. Shining wizard. Muto. Muto's shining wizard. The crowd loving this here. <laughs> More powerful kicks. He does not hold back with them. He doesn't care who the opponent is. It's the same degree of punishment, same degree of force. There's the soccer kick. He gives a hundred percent. So dangerous. Very, very dangerous. Every time. Funaki firmly in control over the youngster here. He slips out. <laughs> He's taking some nasty slaps for that. Bomb for, strikes from Funaki. For being so cheeky. Those palm strikes were a staple in Pancrace back in the day. <laughs> Oh, he stops that last kick. He's got a hold of the single leg now. Here we go. German suplex. Nice work from Kaito Kiyomiya. But another heavy, heavy kick from the legend Funaki. And both men are down. Who's worse off? Who can make the tag first? Funaki edges closer. In comes Marafuji. Taniguchi in to face him. Straight at it. Shoulder tackle, cartwheel from Marafuji. The drop kick. Vintage Marafuji. Marafuji dealing with the pressure of Marafuji now in the corner. Marafuji trying to stop. Like Inaba from coming in. Smashing Taniguchi into the turnbuckle. Taniguchi tries to reply, gets stopped. And there's that kick. Come on, Fuji. Fuji has a hold of him. Up onto the ropes. Taniguchi having none of it. Body slap. Down. Muto comes in. Oh, he's getting some of the same. Taniguchi looking very powerful. <laughs> the strength of Taniguchi shining through here against the M's alliance. He'll have to turn his attention back to Marafuji now. 
Oh, folded him with that. Let it in the corner there. Shaping up for a choke slam. Marafuji fights out of it. Back to those brutal chops. Marafuji's chops are certainly brutal, Mark. You're right. That'll leave a handprint across your chest. You can see it already, actually. Right pectoral muscle. Third red handprint from Marafuji. Oh, huge upper kick there. On oh, a head bump from Taniguchi. Starting to get pretty violent in here now. Taniguchi's teammates come in, go straight over to the M's Alliance members, stopping them. He didn't make the tag, but that look was enough. Now, choke slam. Massive choke slam from Taniguchi. The big man's going up top. From the ceiling. Huge smash. <laughs> he thought he had it there. He thought he had the three count. It was very close, but Mario Fuji gets out. Okay. Oh, straight to the jaw oh. there. Followed by a knee. He's down. Flying Taniguchi's knee. down. Taniguchi is down. M's Alliance need to capitalize. Here's the tag. Yamoto steps in. Taniguchi stops him in time. Yamura's in. He's looking fresh and he's looking hungry. Punishment as soon as he gets in. Yoshiki Inamura is an absolute refrigerator. He's got him up in the air. Almost drills a hole in the mat with that. 130 kilos of sheer brutality that is Inamura. Huge Kiai there from Yoshiki Namura. Going to work on Yuko Miyamoto here. Looked like he was going to go for the Oklahoma Stampede. Miyamoto fights out. Whoa! Sends the big man to the mat. And spring leg kick from Miyamoto. Miyamoto coming back strong now. Maybe slightly over ambitious Miyamoto on this one. Struggling with the weight of Inamura. <laughs> That's how it's done. Inamura just so heavy. So is there. There it is. It is. He just keeps getting bigger. Oklahoma Stampede. Yeah. Ah, right, yeah. So, yeah, he says that Inamura is good with the team, but just by himself, he holds so much weight, figuratively. Here's Marufuji, the hook kick. Love that kick from Marufuji, it's so good. That may take over. He places it so well every time. Muto putting on a show Sizing here. Him up. Trying to oh, it. It wizard on Inamura. Inamura taking a horrible punishment. Oh. Followed up by Miyamoto straight onto the leg. That's a nasty pin. Just in the nick of time there. 20 minutes into this eight man tag match. Inamura, of course, former Congo member. Decided to go it alone. It's like popcorn on a skillet here in Yokohama. Kicking off. Here's Miyamoto. Miyamoto's on, but he lands oh. on his feet. Doesn't see Taniguchi. Taniguchi has it from behind the surprise suplex. attack. Another release German suplex. Yama also with a surprise Yomia. attack. Yomia with a surprise attack. Almost rolling German suplexes. Inamura fights his way across. Lateral press. Oh, he's on top! Inamura's on top! Marufuji gets him off. Inaba sends Marufuji out of the ring. He smiles over here. At the bring it on, he says to Inaba. Bring it on! Yes, oh. Kiyomiya. Oh. Kiyomiya releases Inamura on top of Miyamoto. 
kicking head, seen up by all. Stump from Kunaki. Yeah, my. Laying it on to Manufuji here, but Manufuji eating it up for breakfast. It's an all out battle on the outside. But we have two legal men in the ring. Miyamoto spinning eagle kick on Inamura. Manufuji got sent into the railings there. Oh, and double under hooks! Beautiful, oh. belly to belly, suplex. Set him flying! Inamura is feeling it, he's feeling it. Ah, but the replies, sending Inamura again into the railings. Inamura! Oh. 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 Very impressive! Oh. Yoshiki Inamura! Inaba and Marufuji are still fighting outside the ring here. And what a win that is for Inamura. Inamura got his hand raised, but he's still on the mark. Yeah, Inaba says, you know, ah, yeah, you know, he says he wants to see that fire from Inamura more inside the ring instead of outside. And I would have to agree if he's going to show somebody like Marufuji how strong he is, he's going to have to do it in the oh, ring. So, 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 so. The new partnership of Kiyomiya, Inamura, very true, paying dividend. This is still Yoyoki. going at it over there. Inaba still attacking Marufuji. Marufuji sending him down and Funaki. Some of the younger members of the roster on the outside trying to break up Inaba and Marufuji. Miyamoto. A crucial win today though for Inamura and his team. Inamura, Kiyomiya will go on to challenge for the GHC Heavyweight Tag Team titles in Nagoya. Kiyomiya, Taniguchi, Inaba and Inamura get their hands raised. Very strong work from Inamura, I think. That's right. Yeah. Taking a win over a legend team like Ems Alliance is fantastic. Inamura is definitely someone to keep your eye on here in Pro Wrestling Noah. We certainly will be. Excellent work from Yoshiki Inamura and his team taking out Ems Alliance in the co main event. Coming up next, the main. さまざまなプロレスコンテンツが月額900円でいつでもどこでも見放題。ここでしか見られない試合もプロレス見るならレッスルユニバース。